going on guys welcome to buki tv and this is another episode of our buki cryptids today we will be analyzing witchcraft and witches in general money could be taken his way on this because i personally don't have any clue about all this jazz but what i do know is that i'm going to take my socks off for this so in terms of the history of witches we could be going back to pretty much like the elizabethan period of time which is queen witches. elizabeth big up big up witches were believed to have entered an unholy pact with the devil and were portrayed in seemingly strange ways basically many of the stereotypes about witches um and the way that they kind of look with the whole pointed hat and such that comes from the elizabethan period sorry I just think it's mad how we has got a black cat next to him right now. Maybe I'm a witch. To my knowledge, like your typical witch would be a stumpy looking witch um, with a big nose, with a wart on it, jagged teeth, pointy hat, and a little kitten by the side of her. A lot of the early European Christians, 1427 European witches, as opposed to like the Salem witch trials in the 18th century. But they would have been um, almost like kind of Christian propaganda and they'd have been uh, trying to, you know, exaggerate that there are these people, women in particular, who are like the subjects of the devil and, 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 and they eat children and stuff like that. So... <laughs> <laughs> so like when people were getting killed for witchcraft uh, what did people report to see from these witches that w they were so scared of to actually get them executed the fact of the matter is like i think people would say that they saw things but they weren't actually seeing anything of like a lot of it was down to kind of like looks and just kind of hearsay so like if someone had like a mole or something and just like maybe if he was like a spinster the majority of the time obviously you kind of have like more looks but this is focused on witches it was always just kind of like kind of secluded kind of females i think the one thing with like european like european especially kind of like the english as well like in terms of like magic it was always just a kind of like a scary kind of Thing just because of Catholicism and all of that but in like Greece and Rome at the time like magic wasn't actually illegal and it wasn't illegal unless you actually hurt someone with it. We see magic as if like it's something that we casually see like what I, I don't understand like what sort of magic like they wouldn't be making it rain frogs and stuff like that so what would it be healing potions I mean, yeah, but obviously some people did think they could get cursed, like they did think yeah. that, you know, people were actually out there kind of cursing them. When we talk about like the Elizabethan period, they're talking about like dark witches that study like black magic. You have white witches, which that might be about the nature. There was a lot of negative connotations around what witchcraft and witchery was. At yeah. that point, they didn't really see it as being a positive thing. It was the fact that people did believe that you could get cursed. I guess back in those days, people, and still today, to be honest, like people are afraid of the unknown or the irregular, anything that's different to what they're used to seeing, it's going to petrify them, especially back in those days when they were so religious. In witchcraft, portrayed to be um, bad in the Bible comes from like... in the Old Testament and it mentions the fact of once again kind of like spells and people doing spells on people and that's what people just necessarily just deemed as the end and put it into one section as this is witchcraft whereas people were still kind of doing this kind of stuff and delving into like alchemy and, and kind of magic way back then but then at the yeah. end, certain point then it got placed onto okay this is witches that do this obviously there's stevie nicks that i was telling you about from fleetwood mac she's considered to be a witch white witch one big fact about witches is that one of the only places that actually burned witches at the stake was scotland they would actually strangle the suspected witch to death first and then burn the body at stake jesus christ i fucked up in any instances, has anybody ever survived these things? I don't think they would have survived any of the methods they used to test a witch. If you sink, you're not a witch. And if you float, you're a witch. Or what they used to do as well with a chair, they'd hold you underwater for like 30 minutes. If you survived, they'd say you were a witch. 
Uh, and if you die, you're innocent. Is murder just because a few people had like superstitions, different looking people. Mum, me and you would probably be seen as a witch back then. Probably. Walks around Scotland. A lot of people for a lot of paranoia that he was feeling. There was also one case in Massachusetts where there were two little girls who started having um, like fits one day. They ended up killing the two girls. Historians today believe that they'd actually been under the influence of a kind of spore, like a fungus. Uh, and that had gotten into the lungs. It sounds like if you were rejected from like a certain part of society or if you like did form some form of illness, it is like necessarily people just think, okay, you must be a witch. Yeah, literally sneeze. Witch! Have you heard of Mary Laveau, I think her name is? She uh, then kind of did a lot of things around that. I mean, she was bad though. She, she was quite a, like an evil person. She killed a lot of people and kept a lot of kind of slaves at the time as well. She died in 1881. Like the whole witchcraft thing that there's obviously the dark magic and then it yeah. can also span it into white magic which is obviously seen more positive it's just to do with like the light and such back then in those days they were very superstitious of a lot of things if like all these women that were either caught doing witchcraft or accused of doing witchcraft if none of them survived these things then to me they weren't witches full stop Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you break through to it. Let's yeah. say you was on the stake, then maybe if you had the supernatural powers, you just break through whatever they've yeah. tried to do. The fact that like, people practice dark magic, I 100% believe in that. I just don't know whether they are your stereotypical witches. I think now, being a witch in this day and age, it's a, a form of identity. Being Wiccan, that, that's a recognised religion in America and Canada. Back then, that was definitely, you know, the scaremongering, because it was. Like, reason for that would have just been because of all the Christian propaganda against witchcraft, especially when you add that element of tying all bases of witchcraft to the devil that's what would have made the idea of the halloween witch that we see today the image of what a witch was was taken and demonized ironically from what i gathered from this whole conversation is that your stereotypical witch was never an actual thing it was pretty much a battle of maybe two religions demonizing the culture or something if you're different then you're evil and, and that was definitely at a time when faith and law, you didn't have any human rights back then. You didn't have anyone speaking up against the church because there was just so many people, again, they were believing in it. Like pretty much all set on the fact that, yeah, these were probably not witches of what we would like stereotypically think were witches. Yeah, not Halloween witches. Not the Halloween witches, but maybe there was a little bit of something. I like to think that there, there possibly was like some crazy, person back then handing out poisonous apples yeah. <laughs> let us know your thoughts in the comments section of whether you believe witchcraft is real whether halloween witches were in fact real and there was somebody running around turning people into frogs chances are very slim but mad, who it? knows that's why it's a cryptid you mean a bookie cryptid <laughs>